Its haunting organ instrumentals are instantly recognizable. A Whiter Shade of Pale was released in 1967, went on to become a worldwide hit, selling 10 million copies and earning huge royalties for Prokel Haram's singer. The original organist, uh, organist, Matthew Fisher, claimed he'd also played an important part in creating the song and went to court to seek copyright recognition and backdated royalties. Today, he won his copyright claim against the lead singer, Gary Brooker, who promptly dubbed the ruling a darker shade of black. That will have serious repercussions for the music industry. We'll talk to Matthew Fisher in a moment and hear him at the keyboard. But first, here's Lucy Manning. Even at the most traditional of places, St Paul's Cathedral, the organ solo of Prokel Haram's A Whiter Shade of Pale doesn't seem out of place. Pop music fused with Bach's classical music, making a classic opening. The song was named the most played record of the last 70 years, so the royalties are not insignificant, running into millions. There was one's harmony in the band as they skipped the light fandango, but that's no more, as the organist Matthew Fisher won his high court case for a share of the copyright. He'll get 40% of the copyright and a share of the future royalties. He'd argued that although his colleagues Gary Brooker and Keith Reed got the songwriting credits, he wrote the song's distinctive organ solo. The judge agreed, saying it was significant and hugely famous. After having not been a co-writer of A Whiter Shed of Pale for 39 years, I think it's going to take a week or two for the reality to sink in. I think I could assume from now on I'm not going to be um, on Gary and Keith's Christmas card list, but I think that's a small price to pay for finally securing my rightful place in rock and roll history. Gary Brooker, the lead singer, argued he'd written the tune before Mr Fisher even joined the band and said the organist had just tinkered with it. It took nearly 40 years for Matthew Fisher to finally claim his cut. He won't get any of the past royalties, and even with today's success, he sounds bitter about it all. At the moment, I still have the feeling that, all in all, I wish I'd never played on it, but I may, I may come round. But if the record keeps being played and being bought as mobile phone ringtones, he may finally get some financial reward for his organ playing. So when anybody buys a copy of Old Whiter Shade of Pale, Matthew Fisher's going to get a cut of those royalties. But Gary Brooker, the lead singer and co-writer, said the judgment was a darker shade of black for creativity in the music industry. That now bands would go into the studio and record, and at any point in time one of those musicians could sue for a claim of the copyright. He said that if Matthew Fisher's name goes on those credits, he wants his removed. What's your reaction to Gary Brooker's uh, announcement today that he wants to take his name off the credits if yours goes on? I think that's just one of Gary's little jokes. I, I don't take that seriously at all. His win could have implications for other musicians who've played on successful hits. Four years ago, the violinist Bobby Valentino won a share of the royalties on the Bluebells song, Young at Heart. Perhaps people who have been asked to just knock up something from uh, you know, the supposed songwriter's uh, uh, notes might feel they could well get in on the act. And, and actually, in many cases, you would think justifiably. As for a whiter shade of pale, whether it's live from St Paul's Cathedral or Top of the Pops, it still perfectly encapsulates the summer of love. Even after the bitter court case, working out who wrote it seems far easier than working out what the words of the song actually mean. Well, Matthew Fisher is here with me now, and uh, as a 60s throwback myself, it's <laughs> quite good to see you sitting here in such good fettle, and right. an even better fettle having won this case today. Uh, yes. Now, I mean, you only won 40% of the royalties. I guess 50% then uh, go to uh, Gary and 10% to Bach? Oh, uh, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't object to that. What, what part did Bach play in it? Um, I think Bach just inspired, I think he inspired Gary, obviously. I mean, Gary's always said that. It was obvious. But it also inspired me. The thing is that Gary was inspired by one particular piece of Bach, and I was actually inspired by another piece. Can you, you can't uh, play the different pieces, can you? Uh, well, uh, the... I mean, obviously what Gary was inspired with was the you know, air on G-string, which... Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty recognisable, yeah. And I was inspired by um, 
the uh, uh, Alf, uh, sort of a choral prelude. It's um, sort of. Oh, what's, uh, It but it's a very long way from any kind of a fandango, isn't it? Uh, oh, no, I don't know what a fandango is. It's some well, sort of Latin well, what, American thing. What does it? it all mean? What, the words? Yes. Oh, I don't even ask Keith that. I mean, I don't know anything about the words. Do you don't think about the words? No. I, but, I, I, but your job is to make the words happen, and they do happen in uh, uh, A Whiter Shade, don't they? Uh, yeah. I, I like the words, don't get me wrong, but to me, I, it was the mood and, and the atmosphere. I didn't worry about the meanings of it, and I was, that's all I was doing, was kind of amplifying that mood. Why did it take you so long to work out your rights in this matter? Um, well, because I kept getting bad advice. And, <laughs> well, partly Lawyers that, again. <laughs> well, yeah, well, partly that, and also, I mean, I wasn't sitting there with half a million pounds in the bank saying, gosh, shall I see you Gary today, or oh, I think I'll do it tomorrow. No, I mean, you, you need funding. Yeah. to bring a case like this. And it wasn't until um, recently that I actually found a firm of solicitors that could help you do that. Now, I mean, I, I don't know how much the royalty is even to have you play it here. Uh, can we afford it even? I mean, dare I ask you to play it? Well, I haven't received a penny yet in composing royalties, so I don't think it'll make any difference to me. My big problem is I've got to get my calculator out and work out how much it's going to be and what is 40%. Uh, are you going to walk out of here with a packet of fags or are you going to walk out of here with half my earnings? Oh, um, well, I've given up smoking, so uh, <laughs> uh, maybe a drink. Are you worried anyone will appeal? Uh, oh, I'm not worried because I know they're going to appeal. Oh, you do? They've already said that. Oh, yes. we haven't heard the end of it. Oh, no, no, no. Well, look, well, why don't you give us all a thrill and uh, play us off air with the real thing? <laughs> okay, thanks.